All right, hello. Welcome to a new video on the Classic Gamer X11 channel. Today, we're continuing my Rainmail Let's Play with Crystal Palace, the first level within the Cave of Scops. Has some of the most loveliest music, I'd say. The most nostalgic music is in the Cave of Scops for me. It can actually bring a tear to my eye because it brings back so many childhood memories and only music can do that. Just listen to some music from your childhood and it just brings you back and it's like, yeah, my childhood was alright. I had some bad moments, but you know, I was a pretty happy child. It's very, very soothing, the Cave of Scops. Considering it's the end of the level, it should be like a little bit dramatic, like, oh no, we're at the end of the level, ah! Ah, oh, I just love it. I quite like this level as well. It's mostly a level without any land on the bottom. I have a feeling I've already missed a cage though. Did I miss a cage earlier? <laughs> I might have done. Should I quickly go back and see if I... No, I did get that cage. I was thinking, did I get the cage at the start of the level? I couldn't even remember. That jump can be very annoying though. But yes, Crystal Palace is a very short level and each at Joe's is a relative... Oh. Why have they put spikes up there so then you get caught by them? But yes, Crystal Palace is a very short level and Eat at Joe's is quite a long one. But I hope to get both levels in this video and then I hope to do Scops Stalactites, which is another short one, and then Mr. Dark Stare in the last video. Which will then bring the series to an end, unfortunately. Then, what will my next Let's Complete be? Will there be another Let's Complete? Who knows? I might just record myself on the toilet. That would be a good series. Who would want to watch that? Nobody. <laughs> Deary me. Some of the things I say in videos these days. Alright, here it is. This is the level which has the most nostalgic music. And God, it gives me tingles every time. Ah. <sighs> Sorry if I get like emotional in this video, I just I just like it. It's the first ever game, okay? I love it. There should be a cage down here. Also you will see the return of the lightning eyes, who was previously in pence in the pencil world and of course the blue mountains and the music world as well. They do make a lot of appearances, those enemies. Of course, this is a very similar style of level to the Blue Mountains, as you see those rock boulders reappear. So you of course kind of say like the Bandland and Picture City have a very similar style, and this in Blue Mountains. Very ah, Ooh. don't know how that didn't even hit me then. There we go. There's my golden punch. Got to be careful to not get spiked on the bum area. Can't even remember how many levels there are in Crystal Palace. Is there only two? Or is there... F I think there's three. I don't remember. It might be a longer level than what I thought it was. There's also a good chance I might miss a cage by mistake. Now this one's one of the most hardest ones to work out. You've got... Do a running jump over here to basically a blind platform. Get that cage! There we go, yes, five out of six. And there should be the sixth one over here. So there might only be two levels in Crystal Palace. I, I maybe. But don't worry, Eat at Joe's is a very long and very tough level. But yes, you go on this cloud on this journey, which then brings you back to this one. Also, look at the background. It's a very creepy background, isn't it? I don't want to be on these caves. Do I have slight claustrophobia? 
but I've never really been in a cave. I've been down a mine shaft. I don't think I've ever been in a proper cave. Like, I've never been in one where I feel like I'm actually in danger. Out of stupid disappearing clouds. Has anyone else been down a cave in real life? Top 10 caves in video games. I don't know any other caves apart from the Cave of Scops, which is the number one cave. I guess Spelunky is set in caves, because Spelunkin is the explore exploration of caves. That's a good game. Maybe I should do more videos on that. I did a couple about a year ago. I wasn't very good at the game, like most games. Right, this jump can be a tough one. Just the music, just come on, who doesn't like this music? So relaxing! There is also a magician level, but again, I'm not too bothered about the magicians. He's over here to the left, but I'm not going to bother with him. Why did I go see the Magician? That's why I don't go see the Magician, because I hate trying to get back onto that cloud. Was there even a checkpoint in the level? That was ages ago. Dang, damn it. Oh, why did I have to do that? Deary me. Oh, right, I'm now going to die again. Oh, no! P. I need a P. Always need a P. Alright, hopefully I should be able to now get to the end of the level. I just had to show you where the magician was, didn't I? Oh dear, that punch was a bit pants. Getting very nervous. Getting very warm as well. The weather's been very off and on in England at the moment. It's been like warm, then it's sunny, then it's windy, then it's windy, 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 sunny, sunny, sunny. Cold, rainy, rainy, windy, windy, windy. But then I guess that's mostly what happens in Britain every time. Right, so let's just go to the end of the level this time. Usually you're meant to um, smash that boulder to make that exit appear, but you can just run up to the edge of the boulder and it will still trigger the ending. Right, so that would be too short for a video. It would have been shorter if I didn't die, but we will move on to Eat at Joe's. So let's keep going. Da -da 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 now, when I was younger, when I first got to this level, it was my favourite level in the game. Just because I like the look of the alien. He looks really cool, doesn't he? I should have an eyes on the end of stalks. Joe offers Rayman a firefly to light up the dark. So yes, this, these caves are way too dark. So Joe gives me a firefly. And kind of the story of Eat at Joe's is nobody's going to his restaurant because I guess his sign isn't lit up. But I kind of have the feeling no one's going to his restaurant because it's in the middle of some caves with lots of evil enemies in. I mean, that would be driving, right, driving away quite a lot of customers. Especially if the only way to get there is by going across piranha-infested waters. Not piranhas, they're kind of like... What are those purple... I guess they're sharks? Not baby sharks, no. They're kind of like... I think they're kind of like saber-toothed sharks. Yes, there's a life down here if I hang on the edge. But this is the only level within the game which has this firefly. Although... There are now people that speedrun the game with this as a kind of like a mod for every level. So the Firefly follows Rayman and also if you punch it follows the punch. I believe there's only one cage in the level. So you've got to make sure you've got to keep punching to show the way. There's a little secret up here. I believe this is worth a life. Maybe a P as well. There's the P. And I think a life appears to the right. If I remember correctly. 
I do remember correctly. Oh, I don't like dropping down without looking that way, so I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go back this way. I feel more confident falling back down this way, because there's more stuff to land on. Got to concentrate, though, so my commentary may be a bit pants, but don't worry, my commentary is usually a bit rubbish. It's usually nonsense. Don't really need to punch for these clouds. Kind of see them. And this should take me to the end. But I'm going to punch yeah. off the end of the screen so you get eternal darkness. Oh, no. But don't worry. The next level has suddenly light. Let there be light. It's always a bit disorientating going from a level with no light into a level which is very bright. This level also has one of the most annoying cages to actually get. I mentioned the one in Blue Mountains in Twilight Gulch. That has a tough jump. This one is potentially tougher on the rings. <laughs> Kind of got like a South American vibe of this music, kind of like pan flutes and stuff. It's an odd assortment of musical instruments. So this should take me towards a life. I hope I've got all the cages so far. I'm always nervous that I've missed one because I'm kind of like rushing and going through the level without thinking too much. That's only cage number two, but I think that's right. <laughs> Cage number three. Deary me, I hate cage number three. Also, Eat at Joe's has a. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's this jump here. I hate it. Did you make it? Yes! Oh, I was dreading that because I can easily get stuck there for like five minutes trying to get that bloody jump. Ah! Oh, luck is on my side. Also, these stone dogs reappear. They, of course, were also an enemy in the Blue Mountains, further showing that these levels are very similar. Now if you go on this cage, uh, not this cage, this cloud, yes, go on this flying cage, that will take you to a life. Lovely. So what are people's favourite levels within Rayman 1? If you have a favourite level in Rayman 1, if you have not played the game and you're just watching because it's me, then what's your favourite type of duck? Do you have a favourite type of duck? My one is the one that goes quack. Lovely. Oh, you titting... Ah, tricky cloud. Because the disappearing clouds and the flashing clouds look exactly the same, you can easily mistake one for the other one. Flashing clouds disappear after a certain amount of time, like these ones. These are flashing clouds, and disappearing clouds disappear after you stand on them. I'm down to two bits of health. Potentially this is dangerous. Well, that's level number two of an Eat At Joe's done. We're going through lovely. Now we get a nice little short one. This is where we get to turn the power back on. Never really seen the point of having that red ring there. It's just easy to run and jump. This level is very easy to take damage though because you've got these annoying little spiders out of here. Oh no! Imagine coming across one of those. A spider with plungers on its feet. Yes, it's best to kill that guy because if he hangs on the ceiling, he will then continuously fire bullets at you that home in on you. Then makes this part harder. Now that one on the left should hang on the ceiling. I can't really avoid that. Yeah, you got to avoid his little stinger. He's going far enough, and there we go. Now to get onto this platform, you've got to wait for the right time. Then walk down. Just walk. And plug in. There we go. Got the power back on. I'm not sure how you get power in these caves. I wonder if Joe's Cafe has good Wi-Fi. Hmm. And of course you've got these little spaceships, I guess. What a weird area. 
So the last two cages should be in the next two levels. There's no cages in this level. I should maybe have counted how many levels don't have cages in, not including boss fights, but that is one of them. Or stages, I should say. Stages within levels. Yes. So now we get a level with all of these little UFOs that get powered by that little switch. This is, a, this is a fun little, kind of like a vehicle. Oh, poo. I said a fun level, not one that I wanted to die on. Oh. I'm saying like the world record for most amount of deaths in one video. Right, go all the way along to the right. There we go. And you've got to punch these switches to change the direction. Oh, what? I didn't get the super punch there. Poo. Then go to the left. None of these should hit you if you duck and to the left. What a nice little journey, because there's not really many vehicle sections, if any vehicle sections, in any of the other Rayman 1 levels. I'm trying to think. I don't think there is any other ones. Like you get platforms like clouds and sharpeners, but they're not really vehicles. I would consider these vehicles because they're kind of like UFOs. Powered by electricity. But again, it's a very short level as well. That is the thing with Etat at Joe's is the levels are quite difficult, but very short. Now, the last level in Etat at Joe's was notoriously the hardest for me as a child because of those saber toothed sharks. But that's because I didn't realise you can actually duck and then punch the saber-toothed sharks. If I would have known that, it makes it way easier. Cage number five. We're getting near the end of the level now. One more stage left and it's Joe's Cafe. He should now be happy because I've turned his power back on. I still don't think he's going to get any customers though. See, he's all happy now because his sign is on. But he's still got no customers because your food is shit. La la. So this is very happy music, but it does get very nervous later on. You get these little nosy fish that punch you along. I'm standing on Joe's balls. Right, this should be the first saber-toothed shark. I want to be aware where he's going to appear. Is he going to appear? <laughs> no, he's not. I can't remember. Oh, I hate the saber-toothed sharks. I'm scared of them. I'm probably going to get killed at least once. He will appear now, won't he? Oh, you titty poo! How are you meant to avoid that? Ah, it's so annoying because... Unless you know there's going to be a saber toothed shark there, you just got to jump onto that platform. Alright, let's just run across all these. And into the water. <laughs> That's what I get for speed running. Ah, oh, dear. Hopefully you're enjoying these deaths. I'm not. I'm meant to be a super serious let's player. Oh, poo. Right, let's not speed. Let's just not do the level. We're just, We're going to end here. Apparently. Okay, serious, a serious attempt now. This is the serious one. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still tired. I'm losing all my lives. No! Alright, here we go. Playing the game properly. Not gonna die, no. Come on, nosy fish. Right, once you've got a cage though, cages do not reappear. So I don't have to get that cage again. There he comes. Almost did it again as well. No. See, you can duck and punch.
Come on, get me, saber tooth shark, you bitch. Ha Do 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 da 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 da. Get another one. Now it's never really explained where these hammers are coming from. Because there's no actual hunter around. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh! Ah! Jesus Christ, I just about survived that. I was so lucky. I could have just run and jumped to the end there, but I wanted to be cocky and try and kill that extra saber tooth shark. Got lucky there. Right, that will end this part though. Hopefully we enjoyed that. Sorry about the many, many deaths in that part. We'll continue next time with Mr. Scott's Stalactites. That will be the last video in the series, because I hope to do Mr. Scott's Stalactites and Mr. Dark Stare in one video. So, I will see you there. Take care, and don't forget to clean your fish tank. Naughty.